Hey there, survivors. Welcome back to an Enshrouded tutorial series. Today we're diving into the nitty gritty of shelter construction, focusing specifically on why upgrading your roof is an absolute game changer. While it might seem like another mundane task, trust me, paying attention to the details of your roof can be the difference between having a nice roof and having an amazing build. So why bother with beefing up your roofs? Well, for starters, it's a sturdy provider and one of the first thing you see is when you see your build. It also provides you a nice comfort bonus and having been sheltered. So make sure you get your roof just right as it's gonna be a really big impact on how people look at your base. But that's not all. A well-designed roof can maximize your base functionality. By incorporating clever designs and advancing techniques, you can create additional storage space or even install rooftop gardens to supplement your food supply. In a world where resources are scarce and every inch of space counts, optimizing your roof space can make the difference in your survival in this game. So whether you're a seasoned survivor looking to fortify your stronghold or a newcomer just starting out, mastering the art of roof construction is an essential skill that shouldn't be overlooked. Stick around and we'll dive into some of the tips and tricks on how to build better roofs and enshroud it. Trust me, you won't want to miss any of these. The first roof we'll talk and show about will be the flat roof. Pretty simple to build, you can be doing this with any of the flat tile roofs that you can have. Not very aesthetically pleasing, but it can serve a purpose if you want a landing pad when gliding in, or if you just want to start building a rooftop garden. The next roof you'll find, and it's probably most common to people, is the gable roof. Now this is where it just looks like an A-frame on top of your building. It can be easy to make, or it can be quite difficult, depending if your roof is squared or not. Make sure you have a nice strong base and squaredness, and if you need to, you will have to incorporate a few of the other designs coming up and how to make it a little more appeasing than just having this little gable roof here. The next one is a dormer. Though not a, quite a full roof, this is just basically a window coming off from the 90 degree angle of your roof. This can be used quite effectively in having windows and upstairs, or even just adding a little bit of more build and depth to your builds there, so it doesn't look so quite flat and dead space. Adding these can be quite simple as long as you use the right building blocks. I recommend using either the, the two meter tilted frame, and then you can use it to overlap inside. Once you get inside, you can remove the interior there and it can be a quite easy build. Adding window frames or a small round window to it will be really nice and adding more detail into your build. The next one is the hip build. This is the same as the open gable, but on the ends, instead of having them just ending on an A-frame, you use these other outer corner tiles and have a little more extra side to it. You can build out the dormers on the end here, though it won't be looking quite as effective as they are on the side. It still makes the build look more classier than just a standard gable build. The next one here is a bit of a funny build. It's the salt house build. Now you'd use this on the side of a mountain or if you want to put it down between two alleyways in your city builds, it adds a little bit of, uh, adds a lot of coverage underneath for such a small narrow build and can add quite a bit of height to it. So you can use this really well within city builds or up against mountains or on the side of another building. The next one is going to be a cross hip. Exactly the name of it, it's basically two hips put together on a cross on a 90 degree angle like this. Quite easy build, can be difficult if you do get the uh, sizing wrong, but you can work around it if you want to put block by block down individually. Adds a lot of more sophistication to your roof builds and really elevates a nice corner build if you want to put a garden in the end there. Now finally, this is the end results. If you want to add the cross hip to it, and with the dormer on top and other little extrusions on the roof like a chimney and stuff. This can be the total difference of starting off with a flat roof like this or working your way up to a nice total build like this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to learn more tips and tricks in building within Shrouded, subscribe to the KD Gentleman and we'll see you in the next one to give you more awesome tips to elevate your builds. Thanks very much.